We saw in the previous video how a table, an equation and a graph can all be connected and all give us the same information. We're going to concentrate in this uh, section here on reading from the graph back into the table or back into information about the equation. So what we have here on this screen is we've got here, someone's actually drawn for us the graph of this complicated looking function, uh, y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3. So it's been drawn for us already. And what we want to do is we want to work our way back and fill in the table. Okay, so let's start off here. We want to fill in this gap, all right? And this gap is, what is the y value when the x value is negative 1? So let's have a look at our graph. When x is negative 1, we're exactly over here on the graph. So what is the y value here? Well, the y value there is just 0. Then the next one here to fill in this spot over here, we're asking ourselves, what is the y value on this graph when the x is 0? So we've got to go to our graph, we've got to go to 0, and we've got to go up to the actual red graph and see the point that we're talking about is over here. So what's that y value when x is 0? Well, we can read it off the graph easily. It's 3. Let's skip the next one. We'll come back to it afterwards. Let's finish these ones here. Okay, so here we're asking, when the x is 2, what is the y value, right, on the graph? So we've got to go along to an x where x is 2, and we've got to be on the graph. So we're going to be at this point here, right? That's the point on the graph where we've got an x value of 2, and we can read off the y value. The y value there is negative 3. Okay, and then equally simple here. When x is 3, what's the y value on this graph? Well, we're at that point there. So we're talking about that point, and you can see quite clearly the y value is 0. Okay, so now what about this thing here, right? What are we trying to fill in here? Well, they're asking us when we've got a y value of 0, what is the x value that goes with us? Now, in fact, we've already got a few of those, all right? Let's just think about where do we get a y value of 0, right? Here the y value is 5, then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1. Here the y value is 0. 0. So anywhere along here, you're going to end up with a y value of 0. So where do we have y values of 0 on our graph? Well, it's there, and there, and there, right? Because those are the three points on that red graph where you end up having the y value being 0. So the answer to this question here, the answer to what we need to fill in for this, is that we're talking about where is your y value 0? Well, the answer is that my, when you've got an x value of minus 1 or of 1 or of 3. Well, we've already got the minus 1 here. We've already got the 3 here. So the one that they must be wanting us to fill in here is 1. So can you see we're talking about this point over here, which is x is 1 and y is 0. And we can use a graph to answer questions about an equation. So, for example, let's say they ask us to solve this equation. x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, you've done some work solving equations where you, you know, what you do to the one side of the equation, you do to the other. But a monster equation like this, where you've got cubes and squares and whatever, you don't have the tools to deal with that using algebra just yet. But we have the graph, and we can use that graph. Let's have a look. Can you see that this graph, right, is the graph where y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3. So when they are asking where is x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 equal to 0, really 
what they have done is they have said, I want to know where you get in this graph a y value of 0. And you can read that answer off. You've already done it, right? Where do you get a y value of 0 in this graph? You know y values of 0, right? This is where y is, 0. And you want to know where is this red graph? Where is the y value 0? Well, it's there, it's there. And it's there. And so you can straight away answer this equation that you can say it's there or it's there or it's there that you get x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 being equal to 0. And you could, of course, just as well have read it out of the table, right? Once you've drawn up the table, you're being asked here, where is that? The y value, 0. Well, in your table, you saw it was 0 when x was minus 1. It was 0 when x was 1. The y was 0 when x was 3. So either from the graph or the table, you could have read out the answer to this equation. OK, I want you to try one now. I want you to see if you can answer for me this equation. Where is x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 equal to negative 3? Pause the video and try it for yourself now. OK, let's go over this one together. Where do you get an x value? I mean, oh, a y value. Let's have a look what we've done here. Let's just see when we have got this equation, we're saying this is equal to negative 3. What we're really saying, right, is that, right? In other words, we want to know where in this graph you get a y value of negative 3. Well, where does a y value of negative 3 occur? It's anywhere here that you have y being equal to negative 3. So where on this graph do you have y being equal to negative 3? We can mark off the points. It's here and here and here. Those are three places where you have got the y value on this graph being equal to negative 3. Right? Now, there's only one of those which is actually easy for me to read off. I can immediately read off that one of the answers to this thing here is x is equal to 2, right? I read that off from over here, right? The other answers are a bit more difficult to read off, and I'm going to have to sort of say it's approximately, right? Because the other one, this one here, when I read it off, mm, it's just a bit bigger than 2, right? It's like about 2 comma 3 maybe. So something like that, it's approximately 2 comma 3. And then the last one that I can read off here, you've got a y value of negative 3, and it's just a little bit more negative than negative 1. So maybe something like, let me get a pen, sorry, something like approximately negative 1 comma 3, something like that. But the main point I want you to see here is that we can read off from the graph, a solution to the equation. Where is this graph? Where are the y values on this graph equal to negative 3? We can read that off the graph. And we could at least have read one of those answers straight out of the table. Can you see here? This table will tell us when y is negative 3, you've got an x value of 2. So you could have read it out of either.